Oh, finally. Okay. I'm not sure about these big delays in the opening. Um, bit off putting, really. Because, I mean, these are fairly obvious moves. H3, huh? Okay, I'll try and open up the E file. Okay, keeping quite solid, not letting me pressure on the E file. Uh, is there a good plan here? Maybe Knight H5 to say Bishop takes C3 and F5 Knight G7. I think I've seen this before, somewhere ages ago. That's an idea. Wait, bishop takes c3 here, and the knight can come to g7, so I can play f5. I'm hoping this will be an interesting position. Um, f5. Okay, so f5 now. So you want to play g5, it'll kind of close the position a bit if he plays g5. Um, well, his king side's kind of weak. If he castles uh, on the king side. Hmm. So he's losing quite a bit of time in the clock, this guy. Um, what about queen f6 here? There's bishop g5 just almost winning the queen. It's queen f7. Bishop can move, then knight g5. Hmm. What do I want to play here? May maybe I want to, want to play this anyway. So bishop g5, queen f7. What about knight g5? Maybe it's worth trying to get in f4, so um, bishop g5, queen f7. Hmm. I'm not sure actually. Maybe I should just play fg here to try and get pressure. So fg now. Or is it worth, I don't know, knight d7 to e5 first? Maybe knight d7 to e5. Hmm. So knight g5 again a threat. Also uh, d6. So I'll, I'll play this actually, queen e7 to play knight e5 next. If he allows it. But if he took and then d6, that looks as though I might be in trouble on the diagonal. Um, this pawn would be massive. So I don't know, maybe FG here. Tricky. FG. Don't want to open up my king, so what about just knight B6 actually? Knight B6. And something like, um, like Queen D7 to A4. I don't want to lose d6 though, that's another problem. Um, no, it's not comfortable, is it? This bishop's doing nothing. Um, don't want to gain a bit of time with f4 as a pawn sack. f4, bishop f4. Uh, we'll just queen a4 here, bishop g7 I can take. Queen, queen a4 coming to his king position a bit. f5 is being held up by two pieces at the moment. So it's a bit of a counter attack. Threatening knight takes c4 as well, maybe. Is it that bad for my king? What is he doing with the dark square bishop? So, um. No, I'm going to just check here. Or knight takes c4. I mean, check and then knight c4. 
more sensible <laughs> rather than losing the queen and uh, losing a piece. Uh, so check and knight takes c4. Yeah, this looks unless there's rook e7 coming in kind of kind of quickly. Okay, I can take and then take on c4. So rook e7 is a major threat. So f takes g if rook, if rook e7 knight f5. Bishop f8. Maybe just pawn takes there. Maybe takes and rook f3 and knight e5. Maybe I'll try this. Actually, what about just rook f7 if rook e7? So, um, bishop d7 here. So if rook e7, rook f7. Seems alright, but I can play rookie eight. That'd be looking good. Right, so rook e eight. Well I like this knight at the moment. It's quite kind of nifty. Come back to e five maybe, taking g four as well. Also, h6 and g5 is tempting. Um, right, so do I keep the rook on there by playing bishop takes e8? Keep the pressure on g4, that's protected. I think I'll keep. No, there's knight e6. No, I have to play this. There's knight e6 otherwise. Okay, so rook e3, rook e3, king c2, it's bishop a4, so I think I might try that, it's the first probing move, it's bishop a4 is interesting. He's just moving so slowly, it's unbelievable. Right, if I take, or is f6 becoming a major threat? Under just h6 here, or um, h6, then maybe there's knight e6. Uh, getting some big pawns. And it takes, is that too cheeky? Then king f6. And king's um, in trouble or something. H6, there's knight e6. If I take, there's big pawns. If I don't take, I don't know. Right, maybe maybe I should go for this to try and eliminate these pawns. So if takes, there's bishop f5 check. If knight e6, maybe I take, um, or maybe just king. But he's just so short on time. Can he actually make me here with five seconds? So king f6. Or should I just take? No, take and there's a check. Alright, so I'll play king f6. He's lost on time anyway. How How is he winning his games by playing so slowly? Did he beat anyone good recently? He beat a 2274 QVC. 2273. That's interesting. Oh well, uh, I feel what he just played exceptionally silly. Well, especially the big delay on the first move. But um, yeah, let's see. I mean, this—I don't know this plan. I mean, it just reminds me of something I've seen before. When they play e takes d, it's something to bear in mind. Um, it seems to go okay here, except for d6 being a bit um, reliability. But here it's absolutely brilliant because I'm getting c4. So. Um, but then, I don't know, he came up with something interesting, this idea of the F5 plan. So, uh, maybe he was coming back here. Um, please leave any comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.